I was deeply moved by the story of Mac Burns. One of the most impactful moments was witnessing him finally get to play handball with his friends on the playground. The term they used in video, Mac Defection, wasn't just a term. It actually shows the relentless efforts of his friends and family and their dedication to ensure Mike was able to feel included in this neighborhood. I tried to listen with my heart and give my undivided attention while watching the video. It made me feel connected to his experience. This reminds me of the days when I was struggling with English, feeling like an outsider in my high school. Yet, my host family and my classmates were extremely helpful. They didn't abandon me. Instead, they helped me to understand their culture and let me have feeling of family. Um, and when I lis listened to the video, I used the concept of level listening. I was naturally engaged with story optimistically. Thinking over if I'm, a, I'm the educator for Mike, what can I do? And I imagined alternative future for Mike and others like him. How can we as educators better help students with diverse needs? Like how can we provide them to be more included in this environment? And my change also shaped and uh, shaped my understanding as an early child educator. I will listen empathically from now on, seeking multiple perspectives to understand the needs of children. I don't just hear. I will immerse into it. Uh, this immersion enables me to not just understand the narrative, but also the emotions and the challenges they may possibly have. Um, the communication is essential to meet children's needs. As mentioned in Regu Amelia, uh, we should know the expectations of children by listening their questions and we can adjust our teaching method accordingly for any unexpected situation. When I listen deeply, I'm better equipped and understand the individuality of each child. Children's opinions should be valued by deep listening through day-to-day -day conversation. And, and moreover, I think this kind of listening acts as a catalyst for my advocate's uh, teaching. As I truly understand the difference of each child's experience, I become more effective to do my inclusive practice, ensuring that every child is feel seen, heard, and valued in their environment.